I want to use the zucchini like a boat. That's right, or a log, or a chute. Uh, anyway, uh, what's another thing about my grandma is she never cooked for just who was there. It was always for the just in case come overs, and I don't know how to cook for just two people. And what I did was- Is your zucchini mixed inside? No. So wait. So I'm gonna slice I thought it. I are using garden recipe, so all you've used is a zucchini shell. Yeah, but you gotta eat the zucchini too. It's full of flavor. Hey friends, it is a very stormy evening here in Texas. It's actually only mm, 5.20 and uh, it's dark outside because it's storming so bad. And one of the things growing up was that whenever the weather was bad outside, my grandma's house was always warm and cozy inside and she was baking and cooking and like filling your soul with, with warmth. So that's like a part of me and it's just, it's just coming naturally that I wanna cook a really big dinner tonight. And because I have, you know, a garden full of things on my counter, I thought I should get creative <laughs> with my baseball bat size zucchinis tonight. So we're gonna do some measuring with your heart style cooking tonight and I wanted you to come with me. Let's go. First things first, I would never let it down if I didn't show y'all that I was washing my hands like a responsible person who's fixing meal for their family. I'm washing, I'm singing happy birthday in my head, I'm making it long enough so that way nobody yells at me. There's no yelling in this video, okay? We measure with our heart and we cook like it's for our own family. Okay, so true story, Millie, Millie, my lovely Millie, <clears throat> will not move. Like, it's not gonna happen. She is determined to be right there because the storm is pretty violent outside. So I am bending over, which is gonna make this really amazing to work through. Uh, I washed my baseball bat, we'll just call it baseball bat, on my log here. Oh God, the whole the whole tripod is falling. This is not good. Um, okay, so I washed my zucchini. I've seen a lot of recipes. I've seen Stephanie make a million things with zucchini. I am making this up as I go. It may not be good at all. I've never tried it, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this together. And then Lester should be home within the hour and we're gonna try it with him as well. I want to use the zucchini like a boat. That's right, or a log, or a chute. Uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is slice off the ends, slice it down the middle, and then scoop out the seeds. Uh, not because the seeds are gross, but I need the space. So let's get that going. And I'm gonna save this for the chickens. My chickens are madly in love with the things from my garden, probably more than anything else right now, because I haven't been very sharing yet. Uh, I've been trying to utilize what we have for us and the leftovers have just gone to the chickens with the exception of carrots for my Dixie and Beverly on occasion. Uh, usually about one a week is where I'm at with that and just a, it is a special treat when that happens. So as the zucchini get bigger, so do the seeds naturally inside. Now my first job was at Subway and back in that day, we would take the bread and carve out a U gauge. It was actually in the training instructions. So I'm gonna use that method here. And I think, I think it's too firm to actually use just a spoon. So I'm going to use the U gauge method at carving out my little zucchini boat here. I don't want to carve out too much. So as I get to the front, which you can't see because I'm not smart enough to angle the camera down. Oh boy, there we go. As I get to the front and it's more shallow, I don't want to carve out as much. It's a skill, skill I learned at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. 
which mu with much better knives probably than what I have right now, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine, to be honest. Uh, when I was a kid and we had zucchini, uh, my grandma used to just fry it in the skillet. She would, you know, toss it in some flour, salt and pepper and, and fry it. It was delicious. I loved a zucchini as a kid. And she made zucchini bread too, which I know that Steph has made. Um, so this new recipe here, that isn't a recipe at all. It literally is coming directly from, from what I think might be good. Might be a flop, I'm not sure. But I got my first boat. Okay, let's move on to the second. Millie, it would be so much more helpful if you would consider moving so that I could put my feet a little bit closer to the cabinet instead of being stretched over. Okay, there we go. We're getting better. <laughs> now, now you're starting my belly button. I was not prepared for. Okay. Oh no. Now I have weird pockets. I'll zip them up. Okay. Don't breathe and don't stick out your parts, Jamie. Don't, don't be normal. Just, okay. This one does not look as beautiful. I'm gonna grab a spoon and see if we can't smooth that out a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, the whole time. Just like that, huh? Yeah, that would have been smoother and easier. Oh. This boat's way better. Let's fix the first one. Oh man. Yeah, that was so much more smooth. Okay. Two boats. Oh, that was stuck. All right, let's clean up this mess first. Okay, I'm holding the camera up because, well, I have a really floppy tripod that Luster left me today. Totally winning. So we have our zucchinis all carved out. I'm going to now start the mixture and in my boats, I'm actually gonna make my meatloaf. And I'm using my boats to hold it. Boats to hold, no, never mind. Anyway, meatloaf, it is. It's gonna go in these boats. We're just gonna season them and top them different ways. Here's how I do it. So my air fryer allows me to do air crisp, roast, bake, or grill. I'm actually going to roast this and I'm gonna do mine at 350. It preheats and then we'll get it in there. Okay, so I actually went to our butcher slash local meat market and got three pounds of chopped brisket or ground brisket. You can use ground chuck, ground burger, whatever. I don't like as much grease in mine and that's why I do it this way. Um, three pounds is a little overkill. Uh, what's another thing about my grandma is she never cooked for just who was there. It was always for the just in case come overs. And I don't know how to cook for just two people. So um, I cook for an army and then Lester eats leftovers for a few days and then it sits in the fridge until pig Trudy gets it. But by that time, it's usually a minimal amount. So don't worry, don't freak out, don't freak out. Three pounds is what I'm going with today. It was on sale, it's what I went with. I'm going to add in about a half cup of chopped onion. I like yellow onion. I actually like way more than that, but I'm being I'm being a little bit nice to Lester. Uh, he's not as much of an onion fan as I am. Next up will be four eggs. Next up, you're gonna think this is the weirdest thing that I'm going to add here. Italian breadcrumbs are my friend. I like the Italian because I like the flavor. I measure this with my heart. I don't want it to be so dry that when I get my hands in it that it's like cake or, eh, or so dry that it's not mixing very well, but I don't want it to be slimy from the eggs either. So I start with a little bit of those Italian breadcrumbs. I sprinkle black pepper in this mix before I get in here with my hands. Yes, quite a bit. We're big fans of black pepper. 
I also add in some crushed red pepper. We like a little kick in our food, not very much. I'm gonna take off my ring here. And the next thing that I like to add is, this is this is a Texas style steak seasoning. You can add any seasoning you want to. You can add garlic, you can add salt pepper. This uh, steak seasoning has salt in it, so I don't add any additional. Next up, getting in, we're getting dirty. My container of breadcrumbs and do exactly what I did before and sprinkle another layer. Let's move that. The Italian breadcrumbs just have seasoning already built into them. And I think that's why I like them more. Some people use cornflakes, some people use saltine, some people use actual like bread. I've seen, I've seen a lot of things go into meatloaf before. But now it's starting to form its actual ball. Like I guess if you've made bread before, you know the consistency that you're looking for. And that's how I feel about my meatloaf is that I know I know what I'm searching for, okay? <laughs> and we're still not quite there yet. So I would say one more dose of that is good. I feel like the egg and the breadcrumbs actually hold this together very well. The onion is for flavor. And I've actually gone to the extent of grilling my onions before as well. You don't have to, it depends on you know how much time that you have. Uh, tonight we went the easy route of cut them up and put them in. So sometimes if you have too much raw, it can be pretty overwhelming. I find that to be the case with green pepper inside uh, meatloaf as well. I would say we should do this in the oven, but today we're gonna do it in the air fryer. So I am going to form a little bit of a uh, log. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to re-complete my zucchini, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, I'm repatching what I've picked out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, if my zucchini, let's see here. Oh yeah, we can fit two. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. The issue is, I actually think I'm going to need another zucchini to cut in half. It's not an issue at all. Just means meatloaf. It just means I hope it's good. Let's just say that. I hope it's good. All right. Let's start with 20 minutes. All right. So, 20 minutes in the air fryer, but it's on roast, so it's just like baking. It just is like convection, so it's cooking it all the way around, so it's not just cooking from the outside in. I know. I know. Uh, the last five minutes of it, I'm going to top both of those. Uh, one I'm going to top with some cheese and additional spices, and the other I'm going to glaze. So speak, ugh. it's the secret sauce, I promise you. Halfway. So, see this crusty shell? That's exactly what we're looking for, but I know that the inside is not done yet. And looking at the zucchini, I can see that it is not broken down yet either but it's getting there. So the grease matters to the zucchini because it holds the moisture in. In that roast and convection, it, it can also appear to dehydrate it, but the grease from the meatloaf actually gets absorbed by it. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Okay, you're gonna think this is the strangest thing ever. The topping for one of these is ketchup, and I hate ketchup, I hate ketchup with all of my being. I hate ketchup. <laughs> Honey crushed red pepper and brown sugar. It is meant to be a glaze. It is not meant to be like a mix it up and pour it all over its sauce. It is meant to be a very thin glaze. So it is like an accent sauce, if you will. This will be actually more than I needed. But again, I have this weird measuring thing. The other one, I intend to top with cheese and some additional spices. It's gonna be delicious. Don't be fooled, that is not a baked potato back there. So this is the amount of time we have left and we're looking pretty good as far as what I want it to look like. I want this to be a crust like on the edge. This is gonna form almost like a shell on top and this will as well. Here we go. Well, here's our fancy smancy zucchini boats. Um, 
One thing I have noticed is I got a floppy little boat up front here. This was where the zucchini was pretty thin and skinny and didn't go all the way around to form a boat. Now this one held up really well. That one, not so much. So a little bit of lesson on my carving technique, but I can't wait to get into one of these and Lester just pulled up. Okay, do not, do not judge the book by its cover, please. Uh, I went ahead and, and used the rest of my meat to make two mini boats. So we got big boats and mini boats and they don't look beautiful, okay? They don't, but I'm really hoping that they taste fabulous. So, could you tell me the ingredients of these boats? So this is meatloaf in an, in a uh, in a zucchini boat. Can you tell me why some are light and some are dark? Um, so this has a glaze on top of it that's like a ketchup with spices. Ketchup. I think that you should try it before you judge. And then this is cheese. Okay. So I made two different versions, knowing what. I enjoy okay. and then knowing what I thought you would enjoy, but I was hoping you would try both. Well, I'll try both. Okay, let me cut them up. And then the zucchini part? The zucchini part is just a, it's just a boat. So it's just a, it just was the holder of the oatmeal or of the, of the holder of the meatloaf. And what I did was. Is there zucchini mixed inside? No. So wait. So I'm going to slice I thought it. I'm using garden recipe. So all you've used is a zucchini shell. Yeah, but you got to eat the zucchini too. It's full of flavor. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Okay. Like I said, it's not beautiful. This is not a chef's uh, five course meal. It's uh, one course and it has two versions. All right, so first I shall start with the cream of <laughs> Whatever, Mr. Mm. Safety. Those are amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the one with cheese because the one with ketchup, I can tell you right now, is probably gonna be a, I'm not a real big condiment kind of person. Neither am I, I hate ketchup but I love this. All right, so I love this. And um, here goes the one with the ketchup. I, I prefer the one with the cheese. I thought you would. Ketchup. Okay, well, enjoy dinner. Okay. So, what do you think about the zucchini with it, though? Uh, it's like a, to me, it's a good side order. Like yeah. It's a vegetable that would be on the side. I don't necessarily care for the zucchini and the meat together. In your mouth together? Uh-huh. Oh. But it's a great sour. It has good flavor. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it has good flavor, too. Look, I'm just trying to be creative with the zucchini because we're going to be eating it for, like, the next three months. Yeah, I see the uh, bowl <laughs> over there. This was a baseball bat version. The one that you left grow and grow and grow. The two-hander? It was a two-hander. <laughs>